The Miami Dolphins stay focused on keeping certain positions stocked with talent but they also tend to ignore other positions. It is almost a certainty that the Dolphins will add a cornerback during the offseason either in the draft or during free agency. Since 2019, Miami has drafted two players in the secondary and both were high draft picks with Noah Igbenogany taken in round one and Javon Holland drafted high in round two. The Dolphins also made Byron Jones the highest paid corner in the NFL last year during free agency. After years of watching the Dolphins make backhanded attempts to fix the offensive line, they have invested heavily in the guards and tackles the last three years. Miami has drafted six offensive linemen since 2019 and has added several in free agency. Yet for all the work they have done to improve the line and other positions, they still have neglected several areas they need to improve on. Center. Despite drafting six players on the offensive line, Miami doesn't seem to be interested in a permanent center investment. Maybe they believe that Michael Dieter will develop into a starter at the position but in three years, the Dolphins have used three different starters at the position. In 2019, Daniel Kilgore was the starter, in 2020, the Dolphins added Ted Karras on a one-year deal and then let him hit free agency this year thus leading to Matt Skura's addition this offseason. At some point, the Dolphins need to make a move to stabilize that position. They passed on top college talent in April and have shown only moderate interest in available free agents, avoiding paying a premium for a top talent. Running back. This is a position that fans have been screaming about for years. Miami's investments in the position have been late-round draft picks and trades for players who are low-risk high rewards. Last year they traded for Matt Breida and then swapped draft picks with KC for DeAndre Washington. Both are gone this year. It has been rumored that the Dolphins made attempts to trade up for Najee Harris but if they were trying to do so, they obviously failed, just like their rumored attempts to sign Aaron Jones as a free agent. The Dolphins may be perfectly fine with Miles Gaskin running the ball and using a platoon at the position but at some point, they have to view the position as a little more important. Defensive end. The de position is hard to put on this list because when you think about a de, you picture an edge rusher and the Dolphins use a combination of linebacker hybrids who can play both on the line and off. Miami has done well getting production from cast-off players and last year Emmanuel Ogba played very well, well enough that the Dolphins should start talking about an extension. Miami addressed the position in the draft by adding LB, the Jalen Phillips but the team still doesn't have a lot of true de depth on the roster. Outside of Phillips and Ogba, it's a mix of players like Jason Strobridge who has yet to show he can get into the rotation, Tyson Render, Jonathan Ledbetter, and Nick Coe. Maybe the blown drafting of Charles Harris has turned them somewhat off on finding a true duh but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a little more experience at the position.